Assalamu alaikum and welcome back here to you to the science lesson four of the week. In this lesson, we will be continuing with our lesson for living things. So we'll be learning today about looking for living things and record it. And we'll be using our science textbook page two this time. In this lesson, you will be able to identify and classify the things into two groups, that is living and non-living things. And you will also be able to explore the differences between living and non-living things. So do you remember the classroom rules and the COVID-19 safety rules? Let's see who remembers. I will ask you one by one. Let's revise the key vocabulary. Key vocabulary are the new words that we use in our daily life. Come on, repeat after me. Living, non-living, breathing, moving, classify. Let's do some quick brainstorming about living things. What do living things do? What are living things? What are non-living things? What do living things need to stay alive? And can living things grow? So what are living things? Who remembers? Yes, living things are things that need air to breathe, that can eat food and drink water, and that can move from one place to another, that can grow and have babies. What are non-living things? Non-living things are the things that cannot eat or drink, that cannot breathe, that cannot move, cannot grow and cannot have babies. What do living things need to stay alive? Living things need air, food and water to stay alive. Can living things grow? Yes, living things grow. When you're born, you're a baby, then you become a boy or a girl, and then you grow and become a man or a woman, right? So let's continue with our science textbook, page two. We will look for living things and we will record. You'll go around your school, you will see lots of different things, living and non-living. What can you find? You will search to find as many things as you can and you will put them into two groups, living and non-living things. You can write or draw the things so that you can remember them. And after the search, you will talk with your classmates and your friends and your groups about what you found. And you will also see if there was anything that you were not sure how to classify. So what are the living things? People, we need food, air, and water to stay alive. People can move, grow, change, have babies, and they can also die. Animals are also living things. Because can they grow and change? Yes, they can grow and change their baby, and then they become big and they change. The butterfly, before it becomes a butterfly, it's a little worm. So it changes, right? Like humans, animals are also living things. They also need food, air, and water to stay alive. Different animals move in different ways, like run, swim, fly, or hop. Plants are also living things. Plants make food from the light of the sun. Plants also need air and water to stay alive. But what are non-living things? Look at these pictures. Are these things living or non-living? What is the difference between living and non-living? Yes, these things are all non-living things because they cannot move, they cannot breathe, they cannot change, grow, have babies, or they cannot die. Now let's have fun watching this fun YouTube video and then we will explore, look around in our school, in our environment and find some living things and then we will record it and then you'll have fun doing the live worksheet in our exit ticket and i'll see you all next week inshallah till then take care have fun and bye bye